After traveling 1.5 million kilometers, the James Webb Space Telescope has reached the Sun-Earth L2 point. It did this by performing its final mid-course correction burn, MCC2, which lasted 297 seconds, or just under 5 minutes, changing Webb's speed by about 1.5 meters per second, equivalent to a brisk walking pace. Hello, and welcome to ZE. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Though it may seem minor, this burn was sufficient to place Webb into an orbit around L2. This orbit is substantial, being more than twice the size of the Moon's orbit around Earth. Webb will take about six months to complete one orbit around L2, a period filled with mirror alignments, phasing, instrument calibrations, moving target tracking tests, verifications, station keeping maneuvers, and finally, the first scientific observations. But why is L2 so special? It's just an empty point in space. How can Webb orbit something that isn't physically there? L2, while empty, is a common orbital point due to the gravitational dynamics between two massive bodies. These bodies orbit a common center of mass, or barycenter. For example, the Moon orbits Earth because the barycenter is within Earth, but for Pluto and Charon, the barycenter lies in the space between them. Orbiting an empty point isn't unusual, but Webb's situation involves the Sun, Earth, and Webb itself. L2 is one of five Lagrangian points where the gravitational forces of the Sun and Earth create a stable position for a third object. These points exist for any two-body system, such as the Earth-Moon or Sun-Jupiter systems. A third object at one of these points remains stable relative to the two larger bodies as they orbit each other. L1 is ideal for Sun-facing missions like SOHO and Earth-facing missions like SCOVR. L2 is perfect for astrophysics missions like Gaia and Webb. At L2, spacecraft maintain constant communication with Earth even as Earth orbits the Sun. For Webb, L2 allows it to block the Sun, Earth, and Moon's heat with a single sun shield, crucial for infrared astronomy. However, there are challenges. The third object must have a negligible mass compared to the larger bodies, which is true for Webb. But Lagrangian points are only metastable, making them tricky to maintain. Imagine balancing a marble on a frictionless saddle. It's possible, but extremely difficult. Webb must avoid drifting too far from L2, which would require corrective burns that could compromise its mission by warming the telescope. Webb has thrusters only on its sun-facing side to avoid contaminating the cold side. Therefore, it's safer to place Webb near, but not exactly at L2. This allows for small thruster burns to keep it in place without risking an irrecoverable drift. The Ariane 5 launch was designed to slightly undershoot, letting Webb perform mid-course corrections. The first two burns, MCC 1A and MCC 1B, were done on route to L2. Even slightly missing L2 results in a permanent annular eclipse by Earth, which poses a power problem for the solar-powered Webb. Using nuclear power is complex and expensive, Additionally, Coriolis forces and the Moon's gravity create further complications, addressed by taking a large orbit around L2. Webb's orbit around L2 is influenced by gravitational forces from the Sun and Earth, creating a balance with a centrifugal force. Moving away from L2 changes these forces, so adjustments are needed to maintain stability. Webb's elliptical orbit, varying between 250,000 and 832,000 kilometers, avoids Earth's and the Moon's shadows and requires less energy for adjustments. However, stray light and communication scheduling are concerns, managed by changing Webb's orientation and timing communications. Webb will perform station-keeping burns every 21 days, calculated by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center Flight Dynamics Team. They monitor Webb's telemetry and use the Deep Space Network to track its location and motion considering gravitational influences from the Moon and other planets. This team has a challenging task ahead for the next 20 years. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, often heralded as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, represents a marvel of modern science and engineering. One of its most intriguing aspects is its unique orbital path, 
which places it around a point in space known as the second Lagrange point, or L2. Unlike conventional satellites that orbit planets or moons, the JWST orbits nothing, a gravitationally stable point in space that offers a prime vantage point for astronomical observations. Understanding how the JWST orbits L2 involves delving into the dynamics of celestial mechanics and the innovative strategies employed by astronomers and engineers. The concept of Lagrange points. To grasp the significance of JWST's orbit, one must first understand the concept of Lagrange points. Named after the Italian-French mathematician Joseph Louis Lagrange, these points are positions in space where the gravitational forces of two large bodies, such as the Earth and the Sun, balance the centripetal force felt by a smaller object. In a system dominated by two major bodies, there are five such points, labeled L1 through L5. These points are unique because an object at any of them remains relatively stable with respect to the two larger bodies. L2, where the JWST is positioned, lies directly opposite the Earth from the Sun, about 1.5 million kilometers away. At this point, the combined gravitational forces of the Earth and Sun, along with the centrifugal force of an object moving with the system, create a stable environment for the telescope. This allows the JWST to maintain a relatively constant position relative to the Earth and Sun, minimizing fuel consumption for station keeping and providing a stable platform for scientific observations. The Orbital Path of JWST While the JWST orbits the L2 point, it does not remain stationary at a single location. Instead, it follows a halo orbit around L2. A halo orbit is a three-dimensional, lysigous-type path that takes advantage of the gravitational balance at L2 to keep the telescope in a stable, continuous trajectory around this point. This orbit ensures that the JWST remains in a stable position relative to the Earth and Sun, while also keeping it out of the shadow of the Earth, which is crucial for its solar-powered systems and thermal stability. The choice of a halo orbit for the JWST offers several advantages. Firstly, it allows for continuous communication with Earth, as the telescope never passes behind the planet, ensuring an uninterrupted line of sight for data transmission. Secondly, the stable thermal environment provided by this orbit helps in maintaining the delicate instruments on board at the necessary low temperatures for infrared observations. Finally, the minimal fuel requirements for maintaining this orbit extend the operational lifespan of the telescope. Engineering Challenges and Innovations Positioning and maintaining the JWST in its halo orbit around L2 involves significant engineering challenges. Precise calculations and continuous adjustments are necessary to keep the telescope in its desired path. The spacecraft is equipped with thrusters that make small corrections to its trajectory, ensuring it remains in the optimal orbit. Moreover, the remote location of L2, far beyond the reach of any repair missions, means that the JWST had to be designed with a high degree of reliability and redundancy. Every component, from its primary mirror to its sunshield, had to be rigorously tested and proven to work flawlessly before launch. The deployment sequence of the JWST, which involved unfolding various components in space, was one of the most complex and delicate operations ever attempted in space exploration. The benefits of the JWST's unique orbit the location and orbit of the JWST offer unparalleled advantages for astronomical observations. Positioned far from the Earth and Moon, the telescope is free from the interference of scattered sunlight and thermal emissions that can affect observations. This pristine environment allows the JWST to observe the universe in unprecedented detail, particularly in the infrared spectrum. The continuous, stable environment provided by the L2 halo orbit also means that the JWST can undertake long-duration observations without interruption. This capability is crucial for studying faint and distant objects, such as the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, exoplanets and distant star systems, and the intricate structures of nebulae and star-forming regions. Conclusion The James Webb Space Telescope's orbit around the second Lagrange point is a testament to human ingenuity and our desire to explore the cosmos. By positioning the telescope at this gravitationally stable point, astronomers and engineers have created a platform that offers unparalleled opportunities for scientific discovery. The JWST's ability to orbit nothing is not just a feat of celestial mechanics, but a pioneering step in our quest to understand the universe. 
As the JWST continues to peer into the depths of space, it promises to unveil secrets that have eluded humanity for millennia, all thanks to its unique and ingenious orbital path.